Happy Aloha Saturday, everyone, and welcome to Cash Me In Paradise. My name is Jocelyn. I'm a cash envelope stuffer and budgeter here in Hawaii. For those of you that are new to the channel, aloha and welcome. And for all of my returning subscribers, thank you so much for your support. Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad that each and every one of you are here. In today's video, I will be doing my first ever budget with me in my Erin Condren planner. I recently got this and I was able to actually customize the cover. My favorite is cheetah or leopard print and my favorite color is purple. So I was actually able to fully customize this cover that you see here. And, um, and also a cool feature is you can actually customize it down here as well. You can either put your full name or what I did here was actually put in my YouTube channel. Uh, so Cash Me In Paradise. So yeah, I'm super excited to be able to use this going forward. And if this is something that you're interested in, stick around and let's begin. All right, so before we begin, I did want to share with you guys, I did receive my happy mail from Suns and Roses. I'll leave her information down below. But she is very talented. She has a lot of stickers that you can order from her Etsy shop. She also does her budget with me calendar spread on her channel. So check hers out. She has a lot of, lot of detail on her planner, which I really love. And I do enjoy watching it. So definitely check that out. But her card says, thank you so much for ordering from my shop. I hope you enjoy everything with love, sons. Aww. So I got this cash stuffing sticker. So on the days that I'm gonna be um, cash stuffing, I'll go ahead and leave a sticker on my planner. I ordered these grocery carts. So when I go shopping, I can also track how much money that I spent for that trip. Um, I do plan on um, ordering more from a lot of your Etsy shops. So I will also put that down. One thing I do want to uh, work on this month are my no spend days. I do want to try at least for this month to have at least 10 or more no spends. Just because I do want to be more mindful of where my money is going. So I do want to challenge myself with that. Um, payday, so this is pretty self-explanatory the days that I get paid. I just want to also be able to track that. And I ordered some more um, cash stuffing um, stickers as well. So super excited to be using these today and going forward. Again, if you haven't checked out Suns and Roses, check her shadow out. <laughs> I'm my candle off to the side and I can go ahead and begin. So what I love about new months is basically it's almost like you get a fresh start. You can basically reflect on the previous month find areas that you you know crushed it you can also make any um, necessary changes going forward so I always like to treat the month kind of like a fresh start a brand new beginning and uh, one thing I do love are paper and pen so I'm super excited to be able to actually start using this method I see several of you use your planners every month and by the end of the month, you guys, it looks so pretty with all of the stickers, all of your um, track tracker expenses. So yeah, let's see what the month of September has for us. So the first step that I like to do before even jotting anything down in my planner is I'll spend some time basically just writing down everything on a separate sheet of paper. I'll list all of my fixed expenses, such as like my bills that are due for the month. Um, so these are basically things that are electronically taken out of my bank account every month. Um, they're pretty much on the same date go every month going forward. And it just helps me to see when the due date is so that way I can kind of plan ahead and know exactly um, what money is going to be taken out on each specific date. I also like to do my bills electronically so that way I don't have to really worry about them. I know that they'll be taken out every month on the same date and then the next step I'll do is I'll write down like my PDs, um, any appointments that I might have for the month. Um, now that I started YouTube, I will also jot down, you know, the videos that I plan on posting on a specific date so I kind of have an idea of, you know, what videos are going to be posted. And then I also like to spend some time 
going over like my goals for the month um i also like to reflect on like the month before so just to see you know what um things we accomplished previous month anything that needs to be fixed or needs to be worked on i will also spend some time just going over that as well so yeah um that's something that i like to spend some time on just because i feel um, it's really important to kind of have that roadmap laid out so that way you can plan for success. I forgot to mention earlier, I also got these really cute expense trackers from Lifestyle to Savings. I'll also leave her information down below. Um, what I like about these are they're really easy to use. Um, they're different colors, so I do plan on color coding my expense trackers going forward. I think it's super important to be able to just look at my planner and see exactly where my money is going so that way you know I have an easier time to make changes needed if I am spending more money in one category then I can go ahead and sweep that going forward and try to um, cut costs um, there. So first up I'm gonna go ahead and list out my monthly bills that are due for the month so I'll go ahead and speed that up real quick. have all of my monthly bills laid out for the month um so the first one that'll come out is my music for youtube so i pay seven dollars and 99 cents per month my rent is 550 dollars a month um so i do still live at home so i do want to eventually you know have my own place but i just feel that you know with rent everywhere else it's so expensive I just help to pee a little bit every month, so that's my share of the rent. Um, I do have my cell phone bill, which is due every month around the 24th. Um, with AT&T though, sometimes the bills for some reason always has a different due date, so I just wanna have that laid out, so I pay $100 there. Um, electric is also sometimes, um, depending on the amount of usage, but usually we budget for about $120 um, per person. And then on the last day of the month, I have my car insurance, which is $33. And my Northwestern Mutual Roth IRA, I have $50 there. So next, I'm going to go ahead and lay out my PDs for the month. Um, so I do get paid bi-weekly. So for this month, I get paid every other Thursday. So this month, my first paycheck will fall on September 9th. So I'll just go ahead and lay that out. And then so I get paid bi-weekly, then I'll also get paid over here on the 23rd. All right, so next up, I like to lay out any birthdays that I have for the month so I can see if I need to buy any presents. Um, so the only birthday that I have that I know of for this month for now is um, September 9th, which is my girlfriend's birthday. I don't have any stickers for that, so I'll just put it here. I actually already did purchase her gifts. So I just need to go ahead and send that out. So I will pull money from my birthday envelope later on. Next up, I do like to lay out any appointments that I might have for the month. I know at the end of the month, I do have to take in my car for its regular maintenance. <laughs> so I will go ahead and just pre-fill this here. Stick it down here. I don't know the amount yet, so I'm gonna just put car. And then I'll update this at the end of the month, but super happy that I have my car maintenance envelope already stuffed, so that way I can go ahead and just pull money from there. So when I am ready to make that um, payment, I don't have to worry about you know charging it on my card and then having a balance. Next is, I like to lay out the cash stuffing. So I know every PD, I will have a cash stuffing. Let's put it here. So, I usually do cash stuffings on my PDs. So, it's usually every other Thursday. I have been recently thinking about maybe also doing it every week. I know some people that do get paid bi weekly like to do cash stuffings every week. Um, definitely leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. 
if I should keep it at the bi-weekly or if you'd rather see like a cash stuffing every week, definitely let me know. Nobody cares. Moving along next, I will also write in all of the planned videos that I plan on for the month for YouTube. So I'll go ahead and also speed that up. I have all of my videos that I plan on posting for the month on YouTube. On Sundays, I do like to do my savings challenges. And then on Thursdays is normally when I do my cash stuffings and my weekly check-ins. I also do my sinking funds updates video at the end of the month. Um, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, as you can see, everything is pretty much laid out for the month of September. And the last step that I like to do is just go over my monthly goals one more time and then I will also write those out as well. So that way I can stay accountable to myself, but it's also nice to also have them listed out for you all to see. So that way it also keeps me just as um, accountable. Next step, I do plan on writing out all of my goals for the month of September. I would also love to hear what goals you're working on for the month. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. But yeah, I'll go ahead and speed this up. I have all of my goals for the month of September all laid out as you can see. So the first one is 10 no spend days. I do want to really strive to perfect. So I have all of my goals laid out for the month of September as you can see. The first goal is 10 no spend days. This is something that I do really want to strive for for this month just because I am really trying to get that down payment for my house. So by having, you know, 10, uh, 10 no spendies will definitely help me to get closer to my goal. Number two is I do want to grow my YouTube channel to at least 400 subscribers. I am super happy and appreciative of all of my current subscribers that continue to come back to the channel and leave comments. You are all so sweet and so kind. So I do appreciate each and every one of you. Um, number three is I do also want to find five new YouTube channels. So if you know that I'm not currently subscribed to your channel, go ahead and leave a comment down below. I would love to help you to grow. You know, I love this community. Um, even though we are all on our own separate journeys, each and every one of you all like to um, support one another, which is amazing. Number four is I do want to put an extra $500 towards my care credit card. I do want to get that paid off. Even though it's a 0% interest right now, I do want to get that paid off. So that way, you know, I don't have to worry about that going forward. And lastly, my goal is to meal prep. So I do want to continue to make meals at home ahead of time. I do also want to find new recipes, you know, something that I do like to make. Um, I will also, you know, share it with you if I think that's something that you might be interested in. So yeah, these are all of my goals for the month of September. If you want to share any of your goals that you're striving to work on for this month, go ahead and leave a comment down below. I would love to cheer you on. All right, so that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed watching me lay out my September um, calendar for the month. I do plan on doing this going forward. Um, also to you guys, I am currently almost at 350 subscribers, which is amazing. I do plan on doing another giveaway. So make sure you are um, subscribed to the channel. Make sure your notifications are turned on. So that way when I do announce the giveaway, you're all informed. But I do again appreciate all of your love and support. I'll see you all in my next video. Aloha. Take care.